Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's video. So today it's another unenveloping. Remember, this is coming in an envelope, not a box. So we unenvelope it. Here we have the envelope. It's quite big. I actually can fold it in half. And there's the size of the box that's in it. So this package is from Ranga. I've been looking at Ranga pens for quite a while and I keep putting it off and putting it off. But I found on their Instagram page, there's a link for a group buy. So I actually bought this through the group buy. Now, I'm not sure if the pen is any cheaper from doing it this way, but certainly looking on the website, there's a different set of colors that were available. So I got a green stripe one. I know we're jumping ahead, spoiler time now, but we'll get to see that in a few minutes. The one thing I will say with this Rangera experience, it was flawless. You know, I ordered the pen, the order system, you will actually get an email back from them and then you pay via PayPal, which was fine. You know, actually, I prefer that sometimes. So I knew where the money was going. And then you get an email back. They're really good at communication. It said it would take two to three weeks because they actually make the pens after you order it. Well, it was about a week later. And then I got the notification that the package was sent out. And within a week, it was on my doorstep. So it was a really good purchasing experience. I'd really recommend it. So join me now down on the mat. We'll take a look at, at this pen. We'll unbox it. We'll put some ink in it. And then we'll do a writing sample. And after all that, I'll give you my initial thoughts on this pen. So here we are down on the mat. I've already cut one of the ends off the envelope. That's just so it makes it a little bit easier because you don't need to see me cutting an envelope open. So let's see what's inside. So I'm reaching in slowly, we're fetching this out. And what have we got? We've got this package here. Now where my hand is, they've put my address in it. So I'm just making sure that it's covered up. This is where it's from. Really well done. This is like some kind of muslin cloth. So let's get into this. I mean, I've got to be honest, Already, I'm really impressed by the packaging. I love this idea of this cloth here. So you won't have seen most of this on camera. It took me about two minutes to get into this package because I really had to undo all this threading. So anyway, let's take a look in, see what we've got. I mean, this, this bag is so nice, but it's a bit hard to get into. So taking it out, and here we have a newspaper. It looks like it's a fashion page, not really something that really interests me too much. Let's open this up. The level of packaging is really good. That's it, let's just rip it off. Let's pretend it's Christmas. Oh, it was the variety page. There we go, variety page. Let's fetch that round. And for those that are interested, this paper, it's from the 23rd of January. So anyway, what are we left with? That was quite an excursion, wasn't it, trying to get into this box? Well, we've got this lovely hard box. We've got Ranga pens here. Got a stud there to open it. There's nothing on the back or on either of the sides. So quite a nice but looking box for what I've paid for it. Let's get into this. So here we go, let's see what's inside. So the first thing we've got here, Ranga Handmade Pens, their email address and their website. Let's move it in. Well, there's actually two pens. Here we've got a filler for it. Let's pop that to one side because I won't be using that. The first pen here, it's a fellowship pillar marble by the look of it. Take the cap off. That's a nice looking pen, isn't it? Let's just take the barrel off. Wow, that's lots there. And by the looks of it, I would say this is an eyedropper pen. Let's pop that back together again. That's going to be interesting to use this one. It's not is it all there? No, let me just, that's uh, better. So that's back together, pop that cap on. And again, I'm gonna pop this to one side. I'm not going to review this to, today, you know, but just a quick look at it. You know, it's flat at the top and bottom, 
That's beautiful colouring. I mean, look at the green with the yellow stripes. And this was a freebie pen, essentially. It's not what I ordered. So this comes additional. Really pleased with that. Just going to lift the cling film out so we can see what else is in the box. So in there, we've also got a card. This is showing some of their range. And then again, the contact details. And we've got a flatbed, which doesn't seem to pull out. So let's move the box off. Fetching that cling film. So this is the main event. This is the pen that I ordered. Well wrapped in cling film. As I said, the wrapping so far has been really good. Let me just get into this. Here we go. So before I take this bubble wrap off, I will say, I don't know why, but I kept calling it cling film. It's not, it's bubble wrap. I think it's too early in the morning and I can't have had enough coffee yet. But never mind, we will get there. This is bubble wrap, ladies and gentlemen, not cling film. So I've hopefully been able to cut all that sellotape. And wow, it doesn't want to unwrap, does it? There we go. And this is what we're left, a pen in its wrapper. So again, just spinning that round. Got some sticky tape here. Let me just tip this off camera, cut the sticky, sticky tape, and then we'll get into it. Okay, I've, I've taken off that sticky tape. You've got to be honest, it's really well packaged. So let's take out the pen and see what we've got. So here it comes. Wow. That is nicer looking than I was expecting. I mean, I saw it on the advert, but wow. So this is a Ranga Model 5. It's in the green stripe pattern. I'm just slowly turning it around just so you can see it. Now, I don't know how well this comes over, but the light on here is just reflecting and giving me all these gorgeous greens. But then that's offset by the black. And then we've got, look here, we've got some gray stripes as well. This is absolutely gorgeous. If we look at the top of the pen, so the top of the pen is a dome. Not sure how well that focuses in on the camera. Let's see if I can help that any. So we've got a dome top. It's a big pen, I can tell you that. And then we come down into the main body. The main body here, it's the same length. It's the same width, should I say, all the way down. So through the cap, there's next to no step from the cap into the body all the way down. And then we get here, which is maybe three quarters of the way along. There we've got a slight tapering down. Then we've got another round bit on the bottom. Now, let me fetch in my pen pebble just to rest it on. So far, wow, that's all I can really say about this pen. So to take the cap off, that's half a turn. That's one turn, one turn, that's brilliant. That's not, not bad at all. That comes off and then it reveals this gorgeous nib. So with Ranga pens, there's a wide range of nibs that you can choose from. I decided just to go for the standard Ranga nib. I thought, look, I'm getting the pen anyway. Let's go with the standard one rather than the others. And certainly looking at this, I'm not disappointed. I did opt for the duo turn. Personally, I quite like duo turn nibs. I think just the way that they offset each other looks really good. I ordered it in a broad because I'm really getting into broad pens at the moment. Just going to pick this up. So the section feels quite nice. There's a lip at the end and you can definitely feel it. It's quite a big lip. That's fine. I don't mind that, you know, as long as I know about it. Where it will be interesting, I normally hold my pens right down at the bottom of the section. So I'm wondering if I'm going to get any problems with that lip because of it digging into my finger when I'm writing. If I do, again, I just know and I need to try and adjust the way I hold the pen. If we look at the section, well, the section, it's got that same colouring as the body. You know, it's awesome the way it's all following through. And you can actually see it underneath the threads. Now look at all those threads, but it only took me one turn to take it off. Again, if you hold your pen further up, then threads, I've got to be honest, I can feel them, but they're not too much of a problem. They're not digging into my finger. If I hold the section in the middle, you know, that's nice and comfy. But as I say, that's where I normally hold mine. Let's take off the body, see what we've got inside. So there's a load of silicon grease there on the threads. Again, I'm not sure if this comes over on the camera. Then once we're in, we've got this converter. So I don't know, here we are, we've got 
Schmidt. So it's a Schmidt converter. So that curls down and up quite nicely. Then here we've got the body. I'm going to pop the body back on. I believe this is an ebonite body. It may be acrylic. I can't remember now off the top of my head, I've got to be honest. But regardless, you could eyedropper it. There's no metal at all, which is really good to see. I'm going to pop the cap back on. What I'm going to do is fetch in a different pen stand, and I'm hoping it'll fit on this. Just about. Look at that. It literally just fits on. Let's look at some size comparisons. Here's a Pilot Metropolitan. Look at that. It's a big pen. Let's try it against a Twisby Eco. There it is with a Twisby Eco. The last comparison, a Jinhao 159. <laughs> it even makes that 159 look tiny. And generally, I find the 159 is a big looking pen. This Ranga Model 5 is a big pen. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean out the pen. Then when I come back, we'll look at the ink, we'll fill it up, and then we'll do a writing sample. So I'm back. Well, the pen, as you can see, it's that big. I can't fit it inside the camera. It's really funny to see this. And I'm really actually looking forward to using this pen. So anyway, ink. The ink I'm going to use today, it's by Van Diemen, and it's called Apple Island Green. Now I've had this ink for a while, and the issue I've had with it is most of the nibs I've had up till now have been fine or extra fine. With a couple of mediums thrown in there, but mainly fines. And this ink, it's just not looked right in any of them. It really hasn't. So that's why I thought to myself, I've got this broad nib, which has got some green in it. Let's give it a try in there. Although I would say this is moving more towards the turquoise colours rather than green, but that's fine. I picked this ink because I want to use it. I really like the colour of it. You know, it's got this gorgeous green. I don't see a lot of shading in it. Again, that might be because of the way I've been using it and the pens I've been using it in that really struggle to even write with it at times. So yeah, interesting to see what we get with this. So let's fetch in the ink. Here we go. So let's tip the pen off. Let's tip. That's going to be a problem. It was trying to roll away from me because there's no clip or anything on there. So let's go. I'm hoping it fits in the bottle. Yes, it does. So let's fetch that plunger up. I'm going to take it down again, just so I make sure I get a nice good fill. Look at that. That converter is virtually full. Wipe off the pen, pop it back together again. There's a lot of threads on that. I can understand that though if you're going to eyedropper it. And let's get this ink out of the way. Now I'm just going to have a quick smell of the pen. I know, smelling a pen, that's weird. The reason why I'm doing this is on a number of videos I've seen, people have said about a funny smell. Yes, I would say there is, but it's not an unpleasant smell to me. It's a bit, well, it's just a bit like acrylic. So yes, there is a smell there. You've got to be aware of that. But personally, I don't think it's unpleasant. I'll fetch my notepad. So as normal, I'm going to be using this is an Oxford notepad, uses the optic paper, really nice fountain pen friendly paper. So let's get into that writing sample. So what have we got? We've got a Ranga. Model 5. With a broad nib. The ink. Van Diemen. Apple Island Green. So, I don't know if you've noticed, it's just burped a little bit there. I'm just going to wipe off the nib again, just in case there was something left when I filled it. So that's something I'm going to need to check for. I'm just going to write that line again. Van Diemen. Apple. Island Green. There, that looks better, doesn't it? Now, I don't know if you've noticed this. I'm going to show my hand position. Because of the length of the pen, I'm not holding it as low down. Where the top is here, that's roughly where I like my pens to be when I'm not holding a normal size pen. So that's where the top usually is. So I'm actually using that as my guide. So rather than holding it low down, 
I'm going a little bit further up and the balance feels a lot better by being that little bit further up. So that's something again, it's an interesting thing that I've just discovered. Let's test our drying times. So we go immediate. Yeah, that's fairly wet there. Going to wait for 10 seconds. Yep, it's dried off a bit. Next thing we're going to do is wait for 30 seconds. Okay, we're fairly dry now. We've got some little bits coming off here. Finally, we leave it for one minute. And after one minute, yep, yeah, look there, that's nice and dry. So reasonable drying times. The next test, I'm going to move the microphone down to the paper so you can hear the pen write. That's not bad. There's a little bit of feedback. It's nice and smooth though, that it's not scratching. There's that bit of feedback, which is just making you know that you're writing. It feels nice. It's not glass smooth. Again, I can feel it through the pen as I'm writing, which is what I like. I don't really like the glass smooth nibs. To me, this is a nib that doesn't need any work. Or certainly at the moment, it doesn't need any work. It's a nib that will write straight off. Last test. This is where I just rest the pen in my hand and draw it across the paper. So there's no pressure on this pen, it's just writing under its own thing. And there we get a, line, a nice line. Pop that back together. Now normally I put the pen at the side of the paper. I'm going to put it on the paper today because this pen is just so big. Let me move the paper over a little bit so we get it all in there. This pen is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. I mean, I'm going to spin it around again. Just look at that. It really draws the eye. I like the green. I like the fact that I've got a lot of black in there as well. So to me, yeah, I would say it's an it's trying to run away from me. Move it back up. So to me, I would say it's definitely an understated appearance. I absolutely love it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The nib looks nice. The writing, really pleased with it. I know we had this bit of an issue here. I think that was down to the way that I cleaned the nib off after I'd filled it. I wiped the top of the nib, but I hadn't wiped the feed below. So it could be that that was just really hanging on there. And it was just unfortunate that that's when it happened. Rest of the writing is really nice. It's a nice, a nice sized line. I'm liking the color of this ink. This is the first time I've really been able to see this ink's color properly. Not seeing anything really in the way of shading with this. It just seems to be a consistent color all the way through. Maybe there on the earl we got a little bit, but that could have been where I hadn't had as much pressure on the pen. Doesn't really matter. It's something for me to explore. So what are my thoughts? What are my initial impressions of this? I've said it already. Wow, this is gorgeous. Wow, this is big. This is honestly one of the biggest pens. Well, no, no arguments really. It is the biggest pen I've got. It writes lovely. It's got a real nice balance in the hand. It feels nice to write with. It's not overly scratchy. It's not overly smooth. It's just got that little bit of feedback. Really enjoyed it. Glad I've got this pen. I've been a while waiting to get one. I'm really looking forward to getting this into my everyday carry rotation and using this. Although whether it will fit in my Gale and Leather bag, that's a different question. So there we are. This is my first impressions of the Ranga Model 5 in Green Stripe. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What are your thoughts about Ranga pens? Have you got one? Are you planning to get one? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Let's kickstart the conversation down below in the comments. Let's explore the world of Ranga pens and get to know them a little bit better. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, give it a like. The more people that like and comment on my videos, well, it just helps the YouTube algorithm with surfacing the content to other people. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.